Hello, hello, hello. I am the living shadow. This is a meditation. It may be a little bit different than what you expect. Although I'm not really sure what you expect, so... Please do your best to relax, lay down, and rest your crown. I want you to feel peace, hear nature, experience reality, feel grounded, know who you are where you are, what you feel like, what you look like. I want you to feel completely whole within yourself. I know this may be a little strange. A lot of people want you to go out. I'm asking you to take a look within. The shadow work begins. Relax. Feel at peace. Let your mind focus. Not on what you have to do, but on what you would like to do. Yeah, you find your center. <laughs> but seriously, find a spot in your mind that makes you feel peace. You might hear some negative voices. You might hear some back talk. Let it drown out of your mind. Focus on what it is that you truly want in your world, in your life, for yourself, or for you. Focus on what brings you joy. Focus on that part of your mind that says, this is who I really want to be, the depths of my core. Don't listen to any of the other bullshit. When you go down to the depths of your core, you hear people say bullshit. Find who you really are inside. Don't look outward for any of your answers. Look within. Look down in your past. Find out things that you were told. Find out what's going on with your life. Live the shadow life. Do the shadow work. Observe yourself. Take a long look in the mirror. Internally, the internal mirror. It's different than the external mirror. The internal mirror is a whole different thing. Mirror, mirror. Look within. Deep within yourself. That's where the healing truly begins.
Curious me the NEP finding out what's toxic. Absorbing and transfusing and letting it go. Letting your mind figure out what for you is toxic. Let your heart understand and feel what for you is toxic. Different people have different toxicities. Find out what yours are. There's different things within different people. Just find out what yours are specifically. Where did yours come from? Are you not the person that you want to be? What's stopping you from being that person? Take a second and just think to yourself about yourself. What, how you yourself want to be, and what is holding you yourself back? To what about you is going on in your life? I got messages too, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for coming in for me as I'm trying to. So don't mind me. Things might be coming in for you. That's okay. And it's okay. And it's okay. That's the whole point. You're supposed to remember. Remember, remember, remember. Remember your life. Remember your past. Remember your days. Remember things that you went through. Remember your own personal life. Remember your own personal story. Don't get so lost out there in fantasy that we forget our own story. Feel yourself fly away. I would also like to remind everybody this is the they them uh, assassin apparel hoodie. My pronouns are they them. You can pick them up a whole lot with um, a whole lot of other things on the living shadow that me. It's your assassin, a pair, assassin, a pair, assassin, a pair, make you feel brand new. On the living shadow tap me. The living shadow tap me. Yes, 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 yes. So you retain. I want everybody to understand as we go through this, especially when you're going inside. It can be a little crazy. You must always know your core. 
and maintain your spirit of unbotheredness. There is a spirit of unbotheredness. I want y'all to know about that. Is when you look at yourself and you don't get bothered by the things you experience that come across that are not you. You let them pass by you and you know that's not who you are. You know who you are on the inside. Especially if you are a channel or you are somebody who does channel. I know I do have, I attract people who are um, psychics and, and intuitives. So if you are someone who does channel, I know it can be a little hard to dissociate. So, you know, so we like, you can out of body sometimes without even realizing it. You know, sometimes people can out of body without even realizing it, okay? Stay centered, grounded. Nobody is going to disrupt your core. That's right. Take a look at the living shadow diamonds. Relax. If you are outside like I am right now in this video, feel the sun gaze down. Feel the rays of the sun. Lean into the sun. Resort the light. Resort the light, resort the light, resort the light. Here the thought. Yeah. Here the things that are people are thinking. Here the things that you're thinking. And focus them on what you want them to be. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm just trying to fuck with the other shit. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to relax. I, I'm definitely have to edit this. <laughs> oh my god, new double takes. But oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to do a meditation. I'm just sitting here relaxing. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm trying to relax. All this stuff is happening. I'm also trying to promote my products to live in shadows at me. Buy my assassin apparel. Okay. I got this lazy them hoodie on right now currently. Very cute. Um <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm here. So I'm too apathetic, apparently. Well, y'all trying to kill somebody now? I'm trying to meditate. Who? 
Are you trying to murder people? I might murder somebody later. What can you tell me what's going on? I mean, definitely have to edit this video. <laughs> I'll be trying to get rid of the demons. Or not the demons, but the shit that don't need to be in whatever it's at. Whether it's toxic positivity or toxic negativity. Because there's some toxic positivity, too. Not saying that she was doing any of that, but... Well, what's the spiritual reason behind you interrupting my video? That's to say, why are you using her voice? Oh, because I don't watch the videos. I don't watch his videos. I don't pay attention to them. I'm over here trying to make my own at the moment, currently. There's some dogs, there's some cute dogs over here. I have to do a whole bunch of edits. I don't even like doing edits. Uh. I didn't say you were. That's what I'm saying. Why are you trying to give people a sob story? Y'all do not be surprised at the things you hear when you go deep inside of your head, the back talk you may hear, the voices, things may sound like people you've known, um, people you've met, um, people who in your family, people who you deal with. It may not be them, but it may be their voices talking to you or old mantras or things you need to address within yourself that it may have uh, touched you in some kind of way, whether for good or for bad. You know, it could be for good, for good too. Don't just take it always as bad. It can touch you, said said something that like enlightened you or made you feel better about your day, or think of something that you know, think of something that makes you feel bright and sunny, or think of something that makes you feel like you can move on another day. Ego killer. <laughs> oh. 
big old sword and slice that up. See, this is what we do over here. If you still have a blockage, this is the assassination, okay? If you have a spiritual blockage or you feel something that's holding you back, or you feel some want or some energy that's holding you back within you, you get out your big ass sword, your hacksaw, your chainsaw, your buzzsaw, if any of y'all saw saw, okay, get out the wheel of weapons <laughs> and beat the fuck up out that blockage, okay? Beat the fuck up out that negative energy, beat the fuck up out of that shit. Toughen yourself up spiritually. Make sure if you get some negative energy or some negative shit crawling up on you, you go and straight up just say, uh uh, this don't feel right, and psh, you get rid of it. You know who you are, and you know what, what part of you does not belong to you. And if something does not belong to you, just psh, knock it back off if you do not need it. Now, of course, take your time to discern it. Make sure that it is not bad for you. But if you really feel like an icky feeling straight up, just psh, you're like, bye. I'm like, no. Like you gotta come better than that. Whatever this is, gotta come better than that. You don't let it have an icky feel at that point. Assassinate. Annihilate. Destroy. <laughs> Assassinate. Annihilate. Destroy. I like to kill you. The blockages. Bad karma release, especially if it is not yours. Send that return to sender, return to sender, return to sender. When you go deep inside, return to sender. Don't spend too much time in your past life. Stay present, stay present. Just remember, go back and gaze. Don't stay lost. Go back and gaze. Don't stay lost. Look upon the past, but don't, don't marinate. If you do feel twitches and titches in your body, that is the physical trauma. If you have, if you feel things that are physical traumas in your body, trauma gets stored in the body in physical spots, physical locations, different parts of your body go store uh, trauma. Therefore, if you feel some titches and tingles and things in your body when you meditate, that is it. Getting the trauma up off of your body, healing, healing the trauma up off of your body, removing it, changing it. <laughs> Beat me up, okay. <laughs> This is a shadow healing, okay? We got some Reiki in here. All right. Everybody alone in your If you do not know what they are, everybody first start off with the root that is down, down here at the bottom of your spine. Your sacral, yeah. your sacral may carry a lot of emotions depending on who you are, the person. Solar plexus. Think yellow. Think like sunflowers. Right here. In the upper abdomen. 
Next we have your heart chakra. Get your heart chakra. Feel your heartbeat. If you are outside, it's nice to look at the green grass. If you are better with your eyes closed, I do understand. Just make sure to cover green. Go to the soul chakra. And I think blue. Your throat, your throat, your throat. Yes, think throat is self-expression. Throat is very important. It handles both verbal and non-verbal. So even when you aren't speaking and you feel some tingles or something in your throat, it's probably your energy speaking for you. The non-verbal, the other forms of communication. When you get to levels, you can feel and understand that. Okay. Clear your throat. Let me clear my throat. <laughs> so then, okay, next I want you to think about your eyes. And that's the, that's the two. That's the one. The first eye. Think about your vision, think about your brain. Ooh. See? Here we go right there. I just tells you right there. There was something. Okay. Think about your vision, think about your brain, think about your eyes. Of uh, how you really see the world. From here and beyond the sky. Think real deep and heal your crown on high. Make sure that when you go beyond the sky, you fly. Very, very high. Um, at this portion, I would like for you, if you have not, um, I'm going to have to record another version of this. Um, if you brought a notebook with you, then take notes on anything you discover about yourself. Anything you find out new about yourself, write down anything about that. If you... Um, Whatever you find inside, just write it down in your notebook. <laughs> Anything 
You might also find some funny things as well. That's perfectly normal. If you do not have a notebook, you still have time to get a notebook. So you can write down anything that pops up that you may want to make note of later, or anything that pops up that surprises you about yourself. That's a good idea. Maybe you had something you need to do later, something that you couldn't see before past all the clutter. Just keep that with you by your side in case anything comes about throughout any point of the meditation. If you need help remembering um, your chakras as colors, um, the rainbow 